In this video, I'm gonna talk about this wall mounted backdrop setup. And I've been so frustrated with this thing, but I got it all together now. Hey, what's up y'all? My name is Relly, and like I just said, we're gonna talk about this wall mounted backdrop that's right behind me. Um, in the meantime, if this is your first time here, my name is Relly, pronounced like jelly, but with the R instead. Um, feel free to subscribe, like, comment down below your thoughts, your comments, anything like that. Of course, you're gonna comment down your comments. That was a dumb thing to say. Anyway, I've been wanting a solid color backdrop setup for quite some time now, and it was not only for things like YouTube videos, but for photos and other videos outside of YouTube. So I did what most people would do, which was I did some research and I mainly found two things. One, that there are two different ways to do a backdrop setup and two, what kind of material the backdrop should be. As far as the setup goes, if I wanted to use a mobile setup, I would have done this. I'm gonna use a C-stand as an example. And I only have one, so just pretend that there's another C-stand where I'm standing. But between the two C-stands, there would be a bar or an extension and the backdrop would hang from there. The other setup is what I ended up going with and probably why you clicked this video in the first place and that is a mounted setup. The main disadvantage of a mounted setup, however, is that it isn't mobile at all, which was kind of a given. As far as the material of the backdrop, I used it from a company called Savage. What I discovered is a lot of creators seem to like this company and I did some research, asked some friends, other local creatives in this area, in my area, um, and that's just what I went with. It's a paper backdrop, so for instance, when I did pictures of my dogs, they ripped the paper and it's totally fine. All I did was just cut it across and then that's why this black backdrop is kind of crooked or maybe this way, totally that way. So let's talk about the setup. I put this backdrop, which is the newer brand on an empty wall that I haven't touched in my studio. And overall, I just love being able to just grab the pulley system and bring a backdrop down. For now, I only have two colors, which are black and white, but I plan on adding another color, maybe a green screen of some sort. Installing it wasn't that bad unless you had to deal with the situation that I had and I'll definitely explain that later in this video You just got to do a little bit of measuring a little bit of cutting and then the savage backdrops that I have on there They each have an aluminum tube sitting inside them that I had to buy separately Which prevents the backdrop from sagging in the middle the handles are in the aluminum tube and those are sitting in the mounted brackets without any issue I did use some gaff tape to fully secure the tube to the backdrop though because the tubes were a little bit smaller than the inside of the backdrops. Here's where my frustration came in though. So I ordered this backdrop kit and started setting it up but one of the handles didn't have any threads on it so I returned it and received another kit. The problem was that I had already drilled holes in the wall in the brackets that I received and the new kit didn't even line up with the previous ones even though it was supposed to be the same brand. But wait, there's more. I did some research online and found that I needed to get these aluminum tubes to go in the middle of the backdrops because something like PVC won't work, which I unfortunately learned the hard way. Those aluminum tubes, they only come in one size, which was too big for my measurements, which meant that they needed to be cut with a tool that I don't have. But thankfully, I actually have friends that have these tools. I cut the tubes and finally got the backdrop ready to be mounted. But wait, there's still more. Because my already drilled holes existed, drywall anchors weren't gonna do the job, so I had to go buy some more lumber and cut that myself because Lowe's apparently isn't cutting your lumber for you anymore. So I used these two by fours to create a mounting plate for the brackets, which I connected those to the studs in the wall. So I now have the brackets connected to the two by fours, which are connected to the studs in the wall. And a couple of wasted dollars later, your boy is finished. In all seriousness, it's definitely been a process, but I'm glad that I finally have it all put together. It's just gonna suck when I have to take this down if we decide to move. Um, I have been using it despite my frustrations and here are some photos to prove that. And you most likely noticed it in my previous videos. It was like hanging by a thread basically up on the wall. But I've also used this for product promos that I've shot in the past. The main difference is that I can comfortably hang both backdrops up there now, as opposed to I only had the black one up there for the longest time. One thing I plan on doing is painting the chains orange because I need that splash of orange in there because I mean, I have a splash of orange in my videos. And if you're interested in purchasing this backdrop specifically, I'll put all the links to everything that I use to set this up down in the description below. Just be advised that th what happened to me was a rare occurrence and it probably had to do with uh, a lack of experience on my part, which I will totally own <laughs> up to that. 
I'll probably add a photo of some sort behind the backdrop so when I pull up both backdrops and the wall is revealed, it's not just a blank wall like it is right now. If you have any more questions, just let me know with a comment down below or just reach out to me on social media however you can. But thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you consider subscribing, thumbs up bell, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.